Hey YouTube, this is BJ Ray 20. What you see here on my two power acoustic Edge 10,000 watt amplifiers. I'm here running some tests. I've uh, clamped it yesterday because I got my two custom Soundstream Triple X 15s with Pierce Audio soft parts. They're dual two ohms, wired to one ohm per amp. Yesterday I clamped one at one ohm nominal. But today, I decided to run both subs to one amp so I can have it at 0.5, which this amp is rated to do its full power at 0.5 ohm, just to show what it would do at 0.5 nominal. Now, there's nothing in the bottom amplifier at all because all my leads are on this top one that I'm testing now. I'm going to be doing the same test that I did with the Triple XC500 as well as this at one ohm yesterday I'm gonna try to add this to the video I did yesterday or it would just be separating in parts I'm still using my tablet starting off with 45 Hertz got my clamp meter set to eight uh, AC amps and my multimeter set to AC voltage so let's go ahead and see what kind of power we can get out of this. This is at 45 hertz on the one power acoustic edge 10,000 watt at 0.5. That's at 45 hertz. Now we're going to try it at 40 hertz. Now we're going to do 35 hertz. After 35, 30 would be the last. This is 35 hertz. Okay. And the last is 30 hertz. All right. Now that concludes the test of the power acoustic edge. 10,000 watt amplifier, the EG1, EG1 10,000D at 0.5. Yesterday I tested it at 1 ohm since my subs are dual twos and I haven't wired each to 1 ohm. But um, just a little look, I'm going to run some, do the math. That will be the highest from each numbers, from each meter, multiplied by each other to give the maximum. Uh, wattage and those same two numbers divided by each other to get the ohm load that it made that power at so I'm gonna do the math later hope you all like what you see thanks for watching it's always peace and love